Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday, everybody's favorite day of the week, despite the fact that it is Monday. And guys, are you ready for a spooky build? Um, it is Halloween. Well, it's Halloween tomorrow, but you know, close enough. I feel like this year Halloween has taken forever to get here. I feel like people have been talking about it for too long now. I'm ready for it to be Christmas. <laughs> anyway, we are back with what was supposed to be a spooky build, but I kind of made it a nice build. It's definitely a spooky exterior. It's just not a spooky interior. I kind of played off a little bit of uh, Hotel Transylvania theme where they're monsters, but they kind of like people, you know? Uh, well, in the second movie, they do more than the first, but it's a vampire's house with... Uh, some Halloween decorations out front, and they're just like, no, trick-or-treaters, come on in, man. Uh, so they're like, the layer, they have a layer basement where they have their coffins and stuff, so people don't really know that they're vampires. They kind of live like humans, but it's definitely decorated as vampires. They're just maybe a lot like the Goths, you know? The Goths aren't vampires, but they sure have vampiric uh, looking houses. Anyway, enough rambling. I built a house for Halloween. So happy Halloween, everybody. We're almost Halloween. Um, quick question. Are any of you going trick-or-treating this year? I am far too old for that. Uh, side note, the roofs in this, the roofs, the roof, the roofing took way too long and I had to go back and forth to a house built by EA in order to see what they did with it. Finally figured it out after a bajillion years, but we got it. Anyway, um, yes, I am far too old to go trick-or-treating. Uh, I am 23, so little, you know, I buy my own Halloween candy. I did that this weekend. I had a little bit of a Halloween night. I was going to watch a bunch of Halloween mo movies, and I didn't. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood like I used to be when I was younger. Um, the only movie I watched this year, I watched a bit of Hocus Pocus, um, but I watched Hotel Transylvania 2, which, does that even count? I guess it does, but I'm just... I don't know. I watched Monsters University. Is that Halloween-y? Because they're monsters? No, that's less... Halloween -y, more university. Anyway, it is Halloween tomorrow for you guys, uh, which is great because then we can move on and get into Christmas, which I am so excited about. It is, well, I say I'm excited, but I'm not really excited for winter. I hear the forecast calls for some snow next week. I am not ready for this. I complained about this all last year. Um, it was just insane how much ice we had it wasn't even snow it was ice um so it sucked and i hated it and i don't want it to happen again we're being a little bit more prepared this year round than last year because we're like maybe it'll actually happen anyway it has been quite warm the past few days uh but we're supposed to just like jump off a cliff apparently with our weather and be like bye bye and into the deep dark pit of coldness so that should be fun and there should be lots of complaining from me in the future so yay <laughs> i hope i don't complain too much i hope it's not too bad you know maybe i'll be more prepared this year probably not but hopefully i went and tried i keep trying to find like coats and stuff but i'm just not finding i wanted i went to the thrift store today as one does and i wanted this really cute adidas um really comfy really warm vest but it had stains on it and my mom said she probably couldn't get them out so <laughs> i was like mm, yeah i'm not getting them out <laughs> so i had to put that one back but i did you know what this was a successful thrifting if if you if you know anything about thrifting some can be successful some cannot i walked away with quite a few things nice blouses for work because i'm, I'm going to be starting a new job soon uh i already work in an office so i need more blouses for that anyway and it's just nice to have a little bit of change change up and one of them one of them has a bunch of keys on them which reminds me of the you know harry potter uh the uh, Chamber of Secrets where they have to go... F no, but no, that was... Nope, the Sorcerer's Stone, wasn't it? When they had... Yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. When they had to go find the key. Yeah, it, it reminds me of that. <laughs> um, and then I also got some nice light rain jackets for the snow. How smart am I to get light rain jackets for snow? Seems appropriate. Uh, it's not. I need to find... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for in terms of like a winter jacket thick <laughs> i guess um 
puffy. I don't know if I want the puffiness. I don't, I don't know. See, I go from car to work to car, so I don't need anything too bad. I do need stuff for walking and running and stuff, but usually if I'm doing, you know, exercise, I don't need as many layers because I'm going to warm myself up with the, the working out that I will be doing. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I will, I will, trust me, I will fill you in on all the things that have to do with coldness because I will complain and you will never miss a beat. <laughs> what was that from? Never miss a beat. Call me, reach me if you want to be. No, that was, no, I don't think it was that. There was a show. There was a show. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't, ideally I didn't want to make this whole house out of stone, but it kind of looked better and fit the theme better. Also, the fly through is going to be at night, so it's going to be super cool, uh, very spooky. Hopefully there's some fog on the ground. I haven't actually filmed it yet. Spoiler, um, quite busy. Thrifting. <laughs> successfully, might I add. Thrifting successfully. Very fun. Very very fun to go thrifting you could spend hours there also so excited because their halloween stuff is starting to leave the store and the christmas stuff is starting to come into the store and i'm just living i'm living for it i just want all the christmas stuff to come into my house so i can just bask in the christmasness of it and i do this every year and every year i think man i might not be this excited for christmas next year it never happens i am always 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 excited for christmas always i don't know why Ooh, ooh. speaking of christmas and excitement and me um i heard a rumor on facebook that vancouver is supposed to get one of the uh biggest light sh i, I want to call it a show but i think it's light displays i don't know if it's an actual show anyway light displays let's say um in the world this year so i am like so freaking pumped it means i have to go downtown which i hate doing um, but I found out that there is an express that goes from somewhere that's close to me, not really close, probably like a 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive, but you take like a train train, not like a sky train, but like when you sit down, have a little seat and train into downtown, might do that. And then, oh, it's so beautiful downtown. You can go skating at Robson Square and there's a Nordstrom there, which I really want to go into. Um, so I may have to make the trek the unfortunate trek into downtown this winter uh to view the light show and just it's kind of um like i want to say it's sort of a play on new york's christmas you know how it is all the lights everywhere you walk in central park and you see all the lights or you walk in like i don't know where it is where that big where elf was filmed okay <laughs> Um, it's kind of like that downtown. So I haven't been in a few years, so I'm excited to go. They also have a big Christmas market. So I want to go to that. Oh, it just sounds like so much fun. And I cannot wait for that. Um, I just, I want to, my friend, I, I told her last year that I, we were going to go skating at Robson, but we never did. Um, and this year I'm making a commitment to do it. One, because I want to do it. Two, because she wants to do it. Three, I need to dust off the old skates, um, get them going. And, ooh, this weekend, uh, coming up, so November 4th, the weekend of November 4th, there is a craft fair near me, a Christmas craft fair. Um, so I am going to go to that. I think it's a little bit early for that, but I don't know why they're having it this early. Um, it doesn't say Christmas craft fair. It says craft fair, but then has a Christmas wreath on the sign. So I, is it wrong of me to assume that it's Christmas themed? Um because there's a wreath on it. Anyway, it's fun to get cute little decorations for your tree or your house, or they make really nice quilts that I love, and I want to buy all of them, but they're expensive. <laughs> so yes, um, I also need to get my booty to American Eagle to pick up jeans, because I've been meaning everybody like raves about American Eagle jeans, and I cannot find a pair of, I just want plain, black or plain denim preferably one of each jeans it's all i want um hell to find that fit me right because i am built strangely <laughs> apparently i have um it's so weird i can't like they'll fit my thigh but they won't fit my butt they'll fit my butt but they won't fit my thigh it's just like where do i win in this situation 
I can't find jeans to fit, but people rave about American Eagle jeans, and I always, always, always thought that American Eagle ran a lot smaller, and therefore wouldn't fit me properly, so I avoided the store, um, but I think, I think I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna test them out, people rave about them, so we'll see if I can do American Eagle, um, probably go around Christmas time, get myself a new pair of jeans, maybe when I start my new job, I'll get a new pair of jeans, because that's what I want them for, I want a nice pair of black jeans for work, because I'm tired of wearing, I also need to get more, <laughs> but I'm tired of wearing them, just black, well, right now I wear black yoga pants, and I have one nice pair of work pants, I need to get more work pants, and try and get away from the yoga pants, <laughs> not that I don't like yoga pants, they're super comfortable, but they're just not what I'm looking for in my wardrobe anymore, um, of course I'm gonna keep them so that I can wear them around the house, because they're too comfy not to, but I feel like once you're so comfortable in something, it might not be as presentable as you're wanting it to be, so I just, <sighs> yoga pants, they're so nice, and tights, you know what, I'd like a pair of leggings, I love Lululemon leggings, and I have two pairs of Lululemon leggings, but I find them to be super, super thick, which is great in the winter, not so great for like a transitional period of winter to spring or fall to winter, because they just get so hot and I can't breathe in them. Well, I mean, I can physically breathe, but my skin can't breathe. <laughs> so I need to find a nice pair of jeans, preferably skinny, so I can put them in my boots, and, uh, thin-ish, but the thing, if you go more thin than what Lululemon is, they become see-through kind of, and that's not good, but I do have long blouses to cover anywhere that shouldn't be see-through, um, I don't know what to do, anyway, we're getting off topic from this spooky build, so as you can see, it is very nicely decorated on the inside, I'm not good at spooky, I just, guys, I, I hate to break it to you, Halloween is not my favorite holiday, you know? It was great when I was a kid, and you know what? I love the little candy bars that I can get, but it's just one of those things where it feels like a holiday that's that I'm waiting to pass so I can get on to Christmas. Because in Canada, once Halloween is over, we have Remembrance Day, and then we have nothing until Christmas. So basically, we don't have no Thanksgiving. Um, that was a few weeks ago for us. Um, so we are clear to celebrate Christmas and no one will think we're crazy. So I'm waiting for Halloween to pass and then I can go through Remembrance Day um, with my poppy, which my mom was very smart last year. She got me a pin to put in my poppy so that I don't have to do that stupid thing where you put in and it's, it's not, I'm not good at it. Um, so she got me a nice pin. It has the Canadian flag on it. Anyway, so we can do Remembrance Day and then it's like even, even before Remembrance Day, if you start celebrating Christmas, because that's the next, like, you don't sell anything aside from poppies for Remembrance Day, so there's not, the stores don't fill up with, you know, Remembrance Day items, um, but they do fill up with Christmas items and Christmas music and trees and lights. My favorite place to go is Costco, because they cut, they bring all that stuff out in August, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not crazy, I can just come admire everything. And then you got to start making lists of what you're going to get people. I have my mom down for what I'm going to get her. I just have to do it. Um, so we've been, we've been on a few trips in the past five years or so. And I have all these photos on a stick as well as all these little like tickets for shows that we went to, places we visited, pamphlets, things like that. And I want to do, the first thing I want to do is put all of these pictures onto a digital frame um, I also want to print some so that she can physically look at them. And then I want to make a scrapbook for her for Christmas. I also have some like actual items to get her, like bought and stuff, things she could use. Um, so yeah. And also, <coughs> losing my voice apparently, I also need to get my dog stuff, obviously, because I'm that crazy person. His birthday is also December 22nd, so he's one of those kids that kind of gets forgotten. No, I'm kidding. Um, he gets dual stuff. He gets something small on his birthday, and then Christmas I go all out. Um, but we have another dog this year, and what I want to do is get them a joint present and wrap it and see if they can open it, because Harley, who is my dog, will not open presents, he won't care, he won't, like, try and rip the wrapping, um, unless it smells really good, if it's a toy, he won't do it, 
if it's something that smells good, he might. But I have a feeling that Cash, our other dog, uh, my mom's dog, will open it. So I'm going to try and wrap like, one that smells good and two that is stuffy all in one thing and see if they'll open it. Uh, hopefully don't fight over it, but open it because that would be so cute if they did that. It would be adorable. <laughs> um, also, if we could get snow and I'm talking about one day of snow, Christmas Eve into Christmas Day, I want to wake up to a fresh blanket of snow then it rains so that I can actually move on with my life or you know if if the city would just get on it and plow the roads not a big deal not gonna hate the snow people do their sidewalks totally fine not gonna hate the snow if it was anything like last year I'm not leaving my house for six months I over exaggerate it was like two months but it was all ice the side streets were ice the sidewalks were ice everything was just ice 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 people were ice skating that's, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. People were legitimately, I mean, nowhere else would anybody do this because everybody's not this crazy, but people were ice skating down their street with their ice skates. I mean, what else do you ice skate with? But yeah, it was, it was crazy because it was not snow. It was just thick, thick blocks of ice. What had happened was it snowed and then, um, nobody cleared anything because they're like, oh, it's just going to rain as one would think because that's what happens here every single year is it'll snow and then immediately rain but what happened was we went through i don't know a small ice age or something an arctic blast blew through here and it just was freezing cold for about two months um so we got one just before christmas we got one big heavy snowfall I'm trying to remember this correctly and then it was super duper cold and so it became ice and then on new year's eve i remember this correctly because it was new year's eve and people had to leave our party early because of it we got it was supposed to be oh we're gonna get you know one to two centimeters of snow i'm telling you it was a ruler size it was 30 centimeters i swear i kid you not of just it would not stop that entire night it was big giant flakes of just snow 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 which meant that the ice that was not cleared from before just had a blanket of snow put on it. And then we went into another Arctic freeze until probably mid-February. So it was just ice the entire time. And I'm like, this is not what I signed up for, okay? <laughs> um, if I want snow and ice, I would move somewhere where the houses are cheaper, you know? Um, anyway, we are finishing up here. I just did the nursery. The nursery is probably the only cute part of the room or part of the house everything else is pretty dark but I can't, I can't make a nursery dark that seems weird um and then this is just sort of like a v vampiric layer if you will uh it's got two uh coffins I realize maybe both parents are vampires you don't know maybe the kids turn into vampires who knows I haven't really played with vampires much in the sims um and of course Vladimir is like everywhere in this house uh so I put an extra coffin and then I just sort of spruce up the outside a bit with cobwebs and things like that so that we have a nice Halloweeny look anyway guys if you like this video make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay updated on all this nonsense make sure to hit the subscribe button we are finishing off here with dead trees because you can't place a uh, house in this world which i have never played in by the way this is the first time i've ever built in forgotten hollows ever ever since it came out or played in it crazy right anyway guys um i will see you all in my next video so have a great day guys and have a very safe and happy halloween if any of you are going out and getting candy then enjoy that so i will see you all in my next video bye guys